A meeting in Mandan today taught business owners how to attract and retain employees. One way, keeping them happy. Cameron Brewer spoke with a local business owner who attended the Workforce Retention and Recruitment Forum. It seems like people were dropping their secondary job and keeping that primary employment. Uh, so that's definitely a challenge. Dot Frank has been the owner of Cappuccino on Collins for three years. She says she's extremely passionate and understanding when it comes to her workers. At any time a business faces the, you know, the odds of closure and, and Cappuccino and Collins could have been that downtown business that, you know, was open and then it suddenly closed. Post-COVID, the shop operated with nine employees. It required seven, but now only has five. Can't complain. It could be a lot worse than, than having the five, but definitely a capacity for some more. Frank says to attract and retain employees, she has found ways to keep them happy by being responsive to their needs, suggestions, and ideas. During the luncheon, employers were taught it's the applicants who have the upper hand when it comes to landing a job. Something Frank says she knows all too well. A lot of times if uh, a current employee can vouch for a prospective employee, they're already a step ahead of the competition and you have a level of comfort in extending an opportunity to hire. Something all business owners need as high turnover from employees left businesses like Frank's and others shorthanded on staff. We've had to find out additional ways to accommodate and be appealing and attractive to employees. And that's where I think flexibility more than anything is really critical for us. Frank is currently hiring. To apply, Frank says you can fill out an application in store. Reporting in Mandan for KX News, I'm Cameron Brewer. There were more than 40 business owners there today learning how to retain and grow their workforce.